Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I was at Brendam Docks when I got the meeting message. Didn't Edward come with you? He was needed to help with the freight at the docks, but I can brief him later. So why are we all meeting here anyway, James? You're the one that asked us to come. It's about Mr. C. He said he was going to the windmill, but I didn't see him there when I passed it, and I asked around, but none of the other engines or workmen have seen him at all. Doesn't Mr. Conductor not know his way there? He usually uses his sparkle to travel, Gordon. But I think all the gold that's in his sparkle is completely gone, and since he relied on it so much, it's also beginning to affect his performance. You're right, Thomas. Last night I overheard him talking in his sleep. It sounded like he was having a nightmare about what might happen without it. Huh. <laughs> last night. Is something the matter, Henry? My smoke box is all stuffed up from last night. Probably caught some ashes when Diesel 10 attacked and nearly ripped the sheds apart. Ugh, <sighs> that Diesel. Sounds like he'll make us sick with all his nasty fumes. It might as well, since he's after the lost engine. What do you mean? Diesel 10 attacked the sheds last night because Mr. Conductor might have an idea where the lost engine is. And should Diesel 10 use him to find her, I fear that could destroy us all. Wait, if the lost engine is the reason we all exist, wouldn't destroying her not destroy him too? Not unless he takes all the magic within her. And if he does obtain it, he could end our lives faster than you could sneeze. Uh-huh! Shoo! Ugh, say it. Don't spray it, Thomas. Uh-oh. I think Diesel 10's fumes might have made Thomas sick from last night. Oh no, Percy. I just still have some sneezing powder up my funnel from yesterday. Nothing a little call and exercise won't fix, Thomas. Yeah, that reminds me. I'm going to try to find Mr. Conductor before Diesel 10 does. Percy, Toby, could you cover my passenger and freight trains? Sure thing, Thomas. Thanks. Speaking of which, we should all get back to work. That's what Mr. Conductor would want.